What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle coming to you with another YouTube video. And so here we are in an actual now. We're watching it. We're at Crypto Muscle. Crypto Muscle Network coming to you another video. A little bit early on publishing this video, but you know, uh, I just wanted to get ahead of the game a little bit. Got some things going on. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go take a look at what's going on over here. All right, at the drip, you know, drip and animal farm and all that. You know, three sad things are going to happen this year. All right. And the three sad things that is going to happen and it's already starting to happen first was Cash FX. I knew I was going to get to the point where the end of Cash FX was truly going to be the end of uh, when it comes to just, you know, trying to send the message that it's over. And finally, I think it's being realized that Cash FX is over. That's why I stopped putting out those Saturday videos because it was finally over after, you know, putting out my message for shit over a year, you know, just to tell everybody, hey, come on now. Shit, almost two years. But you know what? I'm glad to keep continuing to pound the message to everybody. And so two more sad things are going to come, right? When the days of Pulse Chain going to end and go away and... And uh, it's just going to be a, a skeleton dap that no one's going to care about. And then there's this trash that's going to just end up dying this year. It's going to be over. And that's this money tree crap. I mean, money tree's already dead, but drip is going to go with it. They're going to be buried together in the grave together. All right, I'm going to open it up that hole and bury drip with money tree. All right, and so... You know, the, the whole story of Money Tree and that trash TV, that's why his little piss ant is uh, hiding out in Australia and, uh, you know, stealing all the money out of this Money Tree contract. Luckily, it's just ASIC because ASIC doesn't give a shit about anything down there in, in Australia or else they'd be after you, man, uh, for stealing out of, you know, people's money right there. But anyhow, uh, Money Tree... And that no good Tiwi led me over to Drip and Animal Farm. And all I saw from Drip and Animal Farm is a dying contract <laughs> the whole time. No matter what the development was that they were trying to push. And the delays in pushing these sort of developments and different games and, and daps and all that stuff connected to Drip and Animal Farm and all that. And really it was just a lot of waste of time. And uh, spinning it down to zero. And still nothing to show for. Because when you look at it, what has really been good out of this since? Nothing. Alright. Uh, when it comes to Drip. Except Drip, you know, it did its, it, it did its thing for over two years now. And, but at the same time, how many times did you had to run this thing through the ringer just to finally get caught up on how much you bought it in at, especially if you bought drip at a hundred dollars each, fifty dollars each, twenty five dollars each, right? When they're just mere pennies right now for drip. So I mean how many cycles you gotta go through just to get caught up on what you paid for in it in the first place. And so all I gotta say is that this thing is gonna end up dying real, real soon. They're hedging their bets on triple D as they are planning to retire this faucet shit. And uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, cause faucet's not going to cut it. If the value keeps going down and you're still getting 1% a day, how's that going to make up for the, like I said, $50 drip, $100 drip, $150 drip that you bought it at? How are you going to do it, get it, recoup that through 1% a day through the faucet? Well, they decided to tie up the faucet and dripping is not going to do the thing for it. I mean, you could just turn on the faucet and just let it pour. But, of course, they're not going to let it pour. So, they're just going to completely shut it off and retire it, right? Well, then comes Triple D, right? They think that Triple D is going to save this thing. And, no, it's not going to save this thing. doesn't matter what they do with Animal Farm. It doesn't matter about anything that they do whatsoever. Um, and it's speaking for itself right here as what we're seeing with what's going on with all this crap right so 
For example, just in the past day, drip is down 3.2 percent. Let me make sure it's accurate here. All right, 3.2 percent. Just in the past day, so a penny and a half, right? Um, down from uh, you know 1.9 cents last week. All right, so 1.9 cents last week. Let's see here. Yeah, about 1.92 cents last week. So yeah, down from there. Now it's about penny and a half. Shit, by the way it's going, probably by next week it'll be down to a penny or less. All right, so pretty funny how that is. <laughs> Drip, say whatever you like, right? Post whatever you like here. What a shitload of, uh, you know, fudge. They're, uh, they're, this is their response, and uh, let's see what they said here. Uh, all right, whatever. Fudders are many. Drip failing, yep. So, uh, that's what's happening over here. All right. There's really no incentive to know it to be in drip anymore. You know, the barter clowns of the world, the stunners of the world, shit, Forex Shark knows that this shit's done. They're going to do what they can to just keep pushing this thing on and on and on. But the reality is that it's done. So people, I think, are starting to see that. Because, you know, when you look at it, how is Triple D going to do anything? Right? It's not. So let's see here, what's going on over here that they're trying to improve version 3 of Animal Farm? You know, oh snap, <laughs> it's flat for the for today. Oh shit, alright. For today it was flat. Uh, let's see, over the past week, still relatively flat over the past week. So, not too much of a difference from what it was this week, last week. Flat. That's, that's good, I guess. I mean, it's holding. It's not a bad thing. It's holding. I'll give you that. But at the same time, there's no incentive to continue to hold um, Animal Farm. For what? All right, it's still kind of holding, right? It was at the low $16. Now it's at the high $16 for the past month. But what's truly incentive to holding on to pigs? <laughs> Especially at pigs at Tiwi highs, right? Tiwi bought them at 300 some bucks each. Man, what a rip. Sad. Uh, let's see, pigs here, it's down, uh, actually no, it's about flat for the day. Nothing too crazy. Past week down, what, two cents? Okay, so a slower, a slower bleed. Not too bad, all right, past month. You're down uh, 4% for the month, all right, so you're down 10 cents. Not bad, you know, but I still think it's going to kind of fall or battle <laughs> and drip for who could be the shit coin, uh, you know, king of supremacy, right, of one another. And um, there's really no incentive for this either. I mean, when you really think about it, right, what, what's truly the incentive with these guys? Any of them. I mean, all they're doing right now is doing what they can to just kind of right the ship as long as they can, right? They know shit's failing. They know that there's nothing they can do to improve what's going on. I mean, it's been running long enough, and there's nothing exciting anymore about continuing to run this uh, bl you know, blood token, right? So if there's nothing exciting anymore... The only incentive for them to just keep holding on is just to kind of just keep it going as long as they can, just to get as much money as they can while they can, before the final plug's been pulled, right? And so people are starting to not put, any, put money back into it because they're feeling like, is it even worth it? Right? Like, is it even worth buying two cent drips anymore? You know, one cent drip, two cent drip, for what? 
Will it ever even hit a dollar ever again? <laughs> All right? So people are starting to realize that maybe it's not going to happen ever again. Maybe this is it. I think it's just going to go in in way of bankroll flow. That thing died <laughs> badly. That badly died when bankroll flow was all about it. And uh, it was funny how all these idiots were like stacking all these wallets, you know, and doing all kinds of bullshit, you know, like they had this whole scheme of, you know, if you come in under me, I'll come in under you. And then our buddy will come in under you. And we'll just keep doing it. Pyramid after pyramid after pyramid, right? That's a true pyramid scheme, right? That's, they were truly forming you know, stacked pyramids, you know, upon one another. It was so organized and strategic. It was crazy. But, you know, as as high they were, as they were stacking those wallets, eventually it's going to fall apart, right? And that's what happened. It all just fell by the wayside, fell apart, and just fell flat. And that, that fall from the top, who was at the top of this wallet stack, I mean, it fell tumbling hard to the ground. That was it right there for all the bankroll flow back then. That crash and burn, it hit them hard. And that's what's going to happen with this one too. So the question to me is, when is Forex going to bail? That's, what, that's the big question. Of course, he's going to deny everything, but when you really think about it, there's going to be a point he's going to bail. He's going to, he's going to let his boys know too. Hey, I'm going to think we should bail because I'm about to, <laughs> right? He's going to give his boys a heads up, All right? Because I'm looking at the, you know, the drip chats and stuff like that. And I mean, easily it could hit, you know, a thousand messages a day. But it has been like that lately, especially since the announcement of retiring the faucet. That's when people's heads were spinning and wheels are turning about, oh shit, what are we going to do next? You know, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Because when you really think about it, you know, like, is, is Triple D really going to do anything? Right? Is anything going to do anything whatsoever? Because... I think uh, there's really nothing that can save it. I don't care about scratchies. I don't care about any other bullshit concepts that they're even talking about considering. You know, Fiat on-ramp didn't do shit. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's look at the volume, actually. Let's go take a look on the Animal Farm volume. Uh, let's see here. 24 million, low 24s now. Okay, so it's starting to fade slowly. All right, pretty soon it's going to be 23, then 22, and all that. But yeah, so Fiat on-ramp has been a fail. I mean, it hasn't brought in, you know, new spending. If they did, it's very trickle amount of new spending. Because that's what you're going to need. That's the problem that this thing has. Just like how Hex's problem is that, or right, you had all these people that bought into the, the you know, drip, just like Hex. You know, rode it out for a while. Now we're at this point of what can you do with it anymore? Just like Hex. Because it's essentially useless. And you got to bring in a whole new, you know, group of buyers to buy into it. But there isn't any that cares. That's the thing. So you got the drip tards. You got the hexagons, right? Those are the ones that are just so all about it that... We know they're not going to rebuy it. All they're going to do is just keep talking. They're just going to keep talking, man. Oh, it's so cheap. It's so cheap. And that's it because what you buy, they're dumping on you. Right? And uh, that's the thing about it. What you buy, they're going to dump on you. And they're going to keep doing that until this thing is over because they know it's over. But they're just being, they're just in denial to acknowledge that. So what are they going to do? They're just going to keep talking it up. Because they're not going to buy in on all this stuff. And there's going to be no new wave of buyers coming in to buy it. Because this, this thing has been long in the tooth already. So when you really think about it. <laughs> the question is when Forex is going to dump. 
something to think about. Comment down below. I'll see you in the next one.